Hello, my name is Jason Tiedek, and I've got something amazing to share with you. Our Instructional Design Mastery Course. I'm about to give you the keys to the kingdom, a step-by-step -step plan for turning curriculum into engagement, learning, and retention. If you're looking to raise your ROI or engage and nurture both employees and trainers, then you've come to the right place. So what exactly will you be learning in this Instructional Design Specialist Certification course? Well, for starters, you'll learn the curriculum life cycle and how to create stellar content for all three stages of instructional design. You'll also be learning how to master the nine critical teaching strategies and 13 essential complementary teaching tools of a successful lesson. Look, I can go on and on about the pain points we'll be solving in this mastery course. Or you could do yourself a big favor and check out our course page today and see how we'll get you to the point where you can motivate any trainees while simultaneously increasing engagement and retention in less time. It's your call. Let this opportunity pass you by or answer the door when opportunity comes knocking. I look forward to seeing you on the inside. My name is Jason Tiedek and I help curriculum writers and instructional designers write golden training curriculum. And today on page 16, you can follow me along with me if you want to, but today I'm going to show you an easier, faster curriculum design that's clear to learn, more enjoyable to teach, and one that ensures your end users get it the first time. I'm going to give you a ton of things in this class. You're going to learn over 200, for most of you, things you've never even heard of on how to design golden training curriculum, how to produce golden training curriculum, how to write golden training curriculum. And I did, I did this for three years. I went from curriculum writer to curriculum writer for three straight years and I said, why would your audience want the takeaways you're offering them? And most of them couldn't tell me. They could not tell me. They've been trained for 10, some of them 20 years. <clears throat> What makes Rule the Room's method different is that you're going to analyze, underline this, the, we're going to analyze the emotional needs of your audience and be able to convey to your audience exactly why they'd want to hear what you're going to give them. But you can, and I'm going to teach you this today, create a curriculum design process that's going to allow you to be nimble enough so that you can actually take it like Legos and apply it to all these different and then just change up certain things so they all feel like it's talking just to them. What if we, I'm not saying we should because we're not gonna, but just to feel this, what if the name of the class was gain more productivity and keep up with your documentation? Would a physician want to attend that more than optimization for physicians? See the difference here? Look what you told me over here. You said it has to have variety, it has to hit their culture, it has to have their wants and needs, and it has to be applicable to their job. Well, I don't know anything that's more applicable to physicians than these three things. And in particular, this one is just absolute gold. There's three rules that you have to follow for the next three days with me for every single task, subtask, and even teaching objective you create. They always have to start with an action verb. You can use, only use seven words or less, and they all have to be familiar words. No click speak, no jargon. This is going to be very, very difficult for you at first. Do you think Sally is gonna start everything off with an action verb with me? Absolutely not. How many times do you think I have to continually say to Sally, Sally, action verb, how many times do you think? Every time. And some of you might say, but Jason, Aren't I the instructional designer? Why don't I just get what Sally says and then later I'll just adjust it to action verbs? Bad move. That's you trying to figure out what they do again. She has to tell you. She has to tell you the action verb. Because if she doesn't tell you the action verb, guess what? You'll probably pick a verb that she wouldn't say she even does. And that doesn't count. This is gold right now. If we Remember, if we screw this up, everything down the line dominoes. We gotta get this right. That's why we're doing this together. Number one way to keep people engaged Tell them why every 10 minutes. That's it. 
John Medina book Brain Rules. There's the research for it. If you tell them why every 10 minutes and continuously reinforce the why every 10 minutes, they will keep listening to you. And what's the why again? You just wrote it on the other page in number three. What's the why? Pleasure points and pain points. So I'm just gonna keep hammering those pleasure points and pain points every 10 minutes in my curriculum. Structural designers, that's a golden rule. Every 10 minutes in your curriculum, another why needs to hit. So all objectives fall into three categories. I'm gonna give them to you right now. Conventions, concepts, and algorithms. Everything you teach on the planet is one of these three. I don't care whether I'm tutoring my son how to walk or whether I'm teaching a physician how to review symptoms and determine diagnoses. They all need to learn conventions, algorithms, and concepts. There's nothing else to teach on the planet. I would say a good 25% of the stuff we're gonna have to do in the next two days is already done. All the stuff we've worked on is now gonna allow us to just plug and play things in ways that make things easy. So this spreadsheet isn't just about, oh, it's easier to see. It's gonna literally allow me to take this stuff and plop it in to even my production later on. Literally the agendas, the marketing materials, all that stuff is gonna get populated from this. And I'm gonna prove it to you in this first section on page, or second section on page 118. On a scale of zero to six, six being you absolutely have to attend this course, Scribe is a six. It will change the entire way you think about writing curriculum. It builds it from the ground up and every single thing you do is intentional. It's on purpose, it has a point, and the point is to better train the trainee. Has nothing to do with us, has nothing to do with the facilitator, but has everything to do with the person coming to your class. Jason has a great energy. He is obviously very passionate about all of the tools that he's providing to us and he is truly excited to see it come alive in class. And I think it's worthwhile to spend your time with Jason in this way because it'll also then translate onto you and how you feel about your own curriculum. I would highly recommend taking any class from Jason, specifically this Scribe class. This training is going to change my life because um, I have real tangible tools I can take back and implement right away. And there's a lot of things that I've been noticing in our trainings as we go along that I say, hmm, can we do this better? Can we do this better? But I didn't really have a roadmap to figure out how to do it better. And now I have those tools to be able to make it better. And so this is definitely going to change the way I do my job. And it's going to give me a better life because I'm going to be happier and my trainees are going to be happier. I'm a training instructor that has been training curriculum for a number of years and for the most part I have inherited other people's curriculum. Now after taking this class I have realized that this curriculum that I've inherited needs a lot of work. Now by taking Jason's class I have the tools, the know-how, and what I really need is structure because I'm a creative learner and I'm kind of all over the place. So this class has been super beneficial for me and I would highly recommend it. It is a good use of your time and it will change your world. When I first read through the list of topics, I thought it was going to be a lot of intangible fluff that I wouldn't really have a chance to do anything with. But the way that Jason presents the material and the activities that he has you do gives you a chance to apply it in real time so it doesn't just go over my head as an idea, it's actually a practical, practical thing that I can do when I get back to the office.